Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, PDF Proofreading, I'm going to show you how you can proofread anywhere on any device capable of displaying PDF files. I've opened a document and this is a simple one-page document just for this demonstration. The first step to PDF proofreading is to make the PDF. Once you're ready to proofread, simply go to Production, Output to PDF. You want to make sure that the document name is the same as the job. And this is the default setting, which you'll find here where it says Name, Percent, Capital J. I'm going to go ahead and press OK to create the PDF. And the PDF has opened for me. At this point, since I'm going to demonstrate this on this computer, I don't need to do anything, but the next step, if you want to proofread on a different device via PDF, would be to simply copy the PDF to that device. Once you have the PDF open on the device that you'd like to proofread on, now you can use the Highlight tool and the Comment Stamp tool to add comment lines and to highlight text within your document. And I'm going to show you how to do that within Adobe Acrobat Reader which is just kind of the default PDF viewer. To use the highlight tool, I'm going to highlight a single word, and the highlight tool is intended for single words rather than entire sentences. And right above the highlighted text, I can click on the highlight tool here, or at the top of the screen, I can choose the highlight tool. I can also click the highlight tool, and then click and drag over a word to highlight it as well. Whichever method you'd like to use is fine. There are two ways to insert comments. If something is already highlighted and you hover over it in Adobe Acrobat DC on a computer, you'll have the option to insert a comment associated with that same line. I'm going to add a check spelling comment and click post. In addition to adding comments to words that are already highlighted, you can use the comment stamp tool to put a comment anywhere in your document that you'd like. And you can move through your document utilizing the highlight tool or using the stamp tool to add comments and highlights throughout your document. Everywhere that you insert a comment with the stamp tool will show up as a comment line in your document when you import this back into Eclipse. And everywhere that you use the highlight tool to highlight a word, those words will be displayed in the user text color 1. And this is a color that you'll be able to customize within your user settings. And I'll show you that next. Once you've completed marking up your PDF and you're done proofreading, you can save a copy of the PDF. I'm going to go ahead and do File, Save As, and I'm going to choose to save it in the same location that it already is because I wanted to overwrite my existing PDF. I don't want to give this file a new name, and so in the next window, I'm going to leave the existing name the same, and I'm going to choose to replace that file. It's important that the file has the same name as the original job when we import these changes back in. If you're using a mobile device, you should have similar options, and you just want to make sure that once you have moved the PDF back onto your computer and into Eclipse, that it has the same name as the job. In Eclipse, I'm going to close out of my file. And again, if you're using a mobile device, you want to make sure that you've copied the PDF back onto your computer so that you can import it and you want to make sure that the PDF is in your jobs folder along with the job itself. Before you can import your highlights and comments from your marked up PDF, you do need to make sure that you go to your user settings, edit tab, and that you have edit station user checked and that the user station number is set to number one. Doing this will ensure that all of your highlighted text comes in correctly as user text type one. In order to import the markup that I did on the PDF document, I'm going to go to Tools, Convert, I'll choose From Another System, I'll choose Text Files, I'll choose PDF Proofreading, and I'm going to select the updated PDF that I've saved. And I'll press Next, and then Finish. And now, when I open up the document, you see that all of the words that I highlighted have come out in my user one color and everywhere that I inserted a comment stamp has come up as a comment print command within my document. If you don't have print commands on by default, you can go to your user settings to the display tab and check 
or uncheck print commands to see these comments from your PDF proofreading. Additionally, you can search for the comments within your job. I'm going to press F5 or hyperkey F to search. I'm going to choose print command and I'm going to choose comment from the drop down list. I'll press OK and it takes me immediately to the first comment. And even though I had print commands turned off, I'm able to see my other print commands in my viewable range at the same time. I can press Control L to move to the next comment or Shift Control L to move to the previous comment. I'm going to go back to Alt U, Display, and I'm going to leave print commands turned on. And you see that all of the words that I highlighted are currently blue with a green background. These changes come up as the user one text color. And so if I go to my color selector and scroll down to user one color, this is where I can change the foreground and background colors of all of the words that I highlighted in my PDF document. PDF proofreading is very easy. All you have to do is go to production, output to PDF, and create a PDF with the same name as your job. Use the highlight tool and the comment tool to mark up the PDF during your proofreading sessions. And once you've completed that, move the PDF back into your jobs folder and simply go to Tools, Convert, From Another System, Text Files, PDF Proofreading, and then select the PDF or PDFs that you've finished marking up. If you've exported multiple jobs to PDF and you've finished marking up all of those PDFs and you save them back into your jobs folder, you can import all of those changes into all of your documents at once by simply selecting multiple PDF files in this window. The functionality of the highlight and stamp tool might be slightly different in other PDF viewers. However, all PDF viewers should have these basic tools available. But if you have any problems, we do recommend using Adobe Acrobat Reader because it is the industry standard. And it does definitely have all of these tools available. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support is available to answer any question anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.